Okay, so we're going to demonstrate very quickly how to use your red box to very quickly send and receive emails over your Iridium phone. And the first thing we need to do is make sure that we join the red box Wi-Fi network. So I'm using a Mac, so I simply come up here to my Wi-Fi icon and make sure I'm on the correct uh, Wi-Fi network. The next thing we want to do is bring up the web-based portal on the red box. So I come up here and I just go to a website, which is just the word red box. And the first page here highlights to me that uh, I'm not currently connected through the Iridium phone. And in order to change that, I simply come down here to connect to internet. And the next screen shows us all of the devices that are plugged into the red box. So the red box can have more than just an Iridium phone. It could have a 3G data card in, could have a Wi-Fi booster, could be plugged into something through an Ethernet port. In this case, we're demonstrating the Iridium. So we simply click on our Iridium device and we then are presented with a series of restrictions. And what we're allowed to do is restrict what the computer is allowed to do and effectively lock it down so it can only do certain things that are feasible through the, the Iridium phone. So in this case, we're going to lock it. We're going to choose option two and we're going to lock it down so the only thing that we can do is our accelerated and compressed email. And now I just press the select internet button to make that choice. And I can see at the top of the screen a reminder that's always here as to which choice that I've made. OK, we're finished with Safari. So the next thing we do is we simply fire up our email program. I've already configured this with a, a mail account. I've got it configured here with just a demo account. Um, it's very quick and easy to put the settings in. And all I need to do now, we'll send ourselves a test email. So I'm just going to send this to myself. send and at this point the Mac starts to try and send the email but it's a little bit difficult to see that it's doing that so little tip here is we can go and use the activity window and that shows us exactly what's going on and in the background we'll know that the Iridium is now um, dialing automatically and we can force it also to put while we're taking the time to dial up we can also use the opportunity to fetch any new messages that are waiting for us The beep shows us that the Iridium is now connected. We've sent our message very, very fast there, and we've already checked for new messages that are waiting. To get our message back again, let's force it to check for new messages again. Again, very, very quick to pull messages back, despite that this is uh, really quite a slow system over the Iridium. And really, the red box manages to wring every ounce of performance out of that connection. We listen. The beep tells us that we've now stopped spending money and the Iridium phone call is dropped. And that's all that we need to do. The red box will make it so that whenever we want to use the internet, just using it normally as though that we're on Wi-Fi connection at home, the red box will make and break the Iridium call. And that's all we need to know.